retrieve the tech. Yeah, I got him. What? You did? Your survival, let alone success, barely registered in my projections. Now, all I need to do is check my transmission data bank. Mobius is always filling it up with his psychotic calls. Oh, yes, there's the schematics, just like you said. How truthful. Uh. Yes. Do we have what mm -hmm. we need? Yes, okay. Yes, what? No. I mean, yes. You just need to analyze these technologies for a moment there. Do you know what they do? I know how these technologies work. If you remember, we described them in clearly abstract, contradictory statements before. On how to use them. Yes. So let me... Uh... Look, it was damaged. So you're saying it's the X2 array, not the antenna I should be examining. Let me check some. I have it. The override... Well, not... Okay, override sequence, in... yes. You see, was that my... Uh... Science. Biologic... I mean, technically, these items could all be used to put you back together once you had your brain. But for now, they can be used in the name of aggression. The door should be unsealed. And that message is science! Deliver this message, and Big Mountain shall be freed from Mobius's reign of terror! Um, you could... Okay. All right, let's see how good this know. is. Come here. You won't escape me. It's not doing a whole lot. Oh, I'm just kidding. The key was to frickin' use vats with it. Maybe the uppercut works better. Nope. I was really hoping this would be better. Beautiful beatdown perk. Come on! It's wow. This is disappointing. This might just be the wrong enemy to be using it on. Fighting over. Now just take everything. Travel to the Forbidden Zone Dome. Okay. Uh oh, is right indeed. I just need some breathing work. Stealth boy.
Uh, giant Robo Scorpion test logs. Saturnite armor plating has exceeded expectations. It is impervious to small arms fire the Sonic emitter. Managed to fry several subsystems. The new atomic laser is performing admirably. Target drone effectiveness. Uh, oh, perfect. Oh, it looks like the target drones got activated and... Oh, how cute! They're engaged in the export of the drone insert! Let's see the drone. Safety done. Fighting now. Fighting over. Go, Protectrons! Go! Cessation of hostilities complete. Has a lair on it. It's one of the... I'll just take everything. No, oh, it's part of it. Oh, I could have turned the turrets on too? Oh my god. Ah, here we go. Shambling. A perfect password for this place. Oh, it's a door. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. Huh? Yo! Hello there! Uh, you are there, aren't you? Uh, forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. Uh, you seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing... Uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? Uh, it's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right, FOV coon? Yeah. Uh. Surrender. Oh, well, that's good. Were we supposed to fight? I certainly don't feel violent, but, well, these contraptions make it hard to tell. You were nuts, what I was expecting. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. Why did you steal my brain? Oh, a variety of reasons. You're something of a homily. The anomaly? You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well, your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. Why is that a problem? I'm not sure. Even if I forget them occasionally. Blah, blah, blah. But I want to leave. Now that's it. Blah, Your blah, brain blah. Is here, safe with me. We chat over mentats. I'm curious. No oh, curiosity. I can't fix your monitor. If you're getting ghost reception, I can fix that. The ghosts aren't real? That changes everything. Why, I can save my computing power for other perceptual impossibilities. 
Please be my guest. Uh, the receptor is there. And the side-switching wobbly bob, uh, just turn that. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, tell me about the Robo-Scorpions. Well, every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the desert, <laughs> like poisonous frosting. How scary, I thought. But they have survived when nothing else had. Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts, and acted as walking eyes, and data-drained computers, and acted as bullhorns? Then I made them bigger. Then I thought about custard. Alright. I'm curious. I... Why broadcast threats? Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I sent that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent. Except when I am. Then... So this whole Mobius thing was a so many drug chems, trip. Such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis... As for the Psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. You wanted to keep the think tank occupied. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. There's some reason for it. You and your brain are quite alike. Uh, your plan does not add up. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name, and my new name overrode the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity, someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the think tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. You reprogram their names as part of a recursion loop. Now, but yes, I So did. basically, long story short, it Mobius is trapping the think tank to prevent it's them right, from escaping and performing experiments yeah, on everything. So the radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. I suspect I have plan nines in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them just in case. Uh, so I had to do something else. To Climb Mobius, zero to circle, eight to infinity. They're all loops. I get it. Oh, you figured it out. No pun intended. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Oroboros, Klein, they have all forgotten themselves. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. It was a merciful lobotomy, really. And the world isn't ready for that kind of too far thing taking. A snake devouring its own tail is Ouroboros, not Ouroboros. Really? It is. Ah, uh, why terrorize them? Well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. Then you came along. The final variable solved. There must have been other signs. There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions. You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, wrinkle. Yes, we've been shot. Yes, very good. I should have Mentats in just you in... In any event, you uh, should... Uh, had a brain injury. Bullets in the head, are you... 
But it was enough for the Autodoc in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem. That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't possess. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial selves into hosts to Yeah, so they can escape. And So you, uh, clients that had the idea to get three technologies after your broadcast. I consider coincidence to be profanity. My threat broadcast is designed to instill and install fear. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those... And coincidentally, pardon my language... Uh, was there any other data transmitted? Yes, my overly aggressive camda broadcast. Forget the rinse repeats. Oh, and the... But I couldn't delete you. You're really so much quite talking. difficult to ignore, you know. They can rebuild them. Oh, that means my plan is a total failure. That is unfortunate. Oh well, at least I tried. I was curious. Yeah. Uh, there are other visitors. Oh, okay, I can just do that for every single one. You know anything about the other visitors? Uh, not much. One caused a great deal of infrastructure damage with... But the last one was the most dangerous. What do you mean? The first one, the ruthless one who smashed up our toy trains, asked for weapons, power. The other, the other asked a different question, and with it, he spoke to the think t They shared things with him that they shouldn't. Uh, I'm curious about some things. There are other visitors. Perception 7. Look at get my brain back, I can't oh, leave. Oh no! I doubt your brain would be so unreasonable. If you become friends or exist in an uneasy truce with weapons aimed at each other, it would unlock the fence for you. Well, once the think tank was dealt with, of course. Uh... Oh my god. I need my brain back. Do you? And does it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. Tell you what, I'll leave it up to your brain. Time to go, goodbye. Indeed. Oh my god, so much talking and I was skipping through so much of it too. Talk to you in a second. Oh my god, all the all the mentats. Do you have enough mentats? Not anymore, you don't. Well, well, look who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been? Hmm? Crawling through bits of radioactive muck again? And you're my brain. Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? How did you get here? After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. Dr. Mobius saw an opportunity to gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. How did he do that? I don't know. I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. Science. I'm quite sure whatever he did was highly scientific, though. Ah. Uh... Hardly. Dr. Mobius keeps a close optical sensor on the goings-on at the think tank. As soon as he saw the opportunity, he took it. 
Something else. Why are you such a dick? Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me, a quote, dick, unquote. As if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoy that little moment? Yes! I most certainly am not. I'm the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership. All those feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush... Where do they come from? Glands. They come from glands, okay. But you're the source of most of those glands, if you're arguing that the thyroid is to blame. I... well... look, it's all a very complex system of biofeedback and other things I wouldn't expect you to understand. You're as glandular as I am. Oh, all right. Be happy. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? Ah, uh, let's make this a fair compromise. If you want me back, first, showers! Second, that Julie Farkas woman, for example. Third, you need to listen to me more than your hormonal choir. Ah. Uh, you'd rather stay here. Well, certainly. Jason Bright and his followers, Helios One, but still, given the tremendous potentially lack, you feel as like that you're lacking hormones. Hmm. I suppose you're right. We are at an impasse. Indeed. Uh, maybe we could keep going like this. You mean I'll stay in my town? <laughs> Join me for some more wild adventures. Well. I suppose you're unfortunate. Even if I could settle myself back in your skull and reconnect all those pesky nerve endings, we would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab. Come on, brain, it's stomping time. Oh, lovely. We've reached the mindless violence portion of the program. <laughs> the brains have forgotten the little things. Really the brightest thing in the room. Oh, energy weapons. Yes, I'd almost forgotten. Let me think about this. Huh. Uh, we'll make them. Right. Look out, think tank. I suppose now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other... Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the same... Right then, off we go! So now we just gotta confront Dr. Klein. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Do you like me? Lots of dialogue in Old World Blues. Holy crap. Time to fight. With what? Scary. The lobotomite returns. 
We are going to settle things. I recommend watching your tone with me, Lobotomite. Now, your brain. There's some things we should discuss. And what could we possibly have to speak about? You have the brain, we have the technology. With it, we can finally leave this place. And we have so many questions to ask your brain first. <laughs> My skull houses the brain of Mobius. Uh, confer with your colleagues. Nonsense! Dr. Klein, I must... I'm not going to... I cannot stand a brief... Gala, these... Klein, uh, you know, this lobotomite is a great sounding board. You respect... Silence, Doctor! You know what, Klein? And my name is Zero. The Slash as a <laughs> designator of... Why, that is brilliant. But how did you... The lobotomite taught me that. You know what? Forget it, Klein. I hate you. And your theory of Bringle Beam Oscillation? The Chinese had it first, you copycat. How dare you? Bringle Beam Oscillation... It's two, eight. <laughs> Why are you acting like this? You've never... A, f a noble speech. Perhaps you are irradiated with camaraderie radiation. If I... This lobotomite is much like us. Regarding even animals and pets is nothing more than avenues to promote science. Instead of ending its life on the table, we should prolong its suffering in the name of science. Why am I even listening to you fools? And the word jism, which never made any sense to me. I count as five, <laughs> like the mighty human hand I once had. Ah, uh, Your math is wrong. Nonsense! The mathematics of this situation are on our side, Le Hmm. If this were a democracy, I would be concerned. You... your colleagues dispute your findings. You dare use logic against me? Uh, do you think I killed Mobius? Yeah. You are lying. Why would you reason with that maniac? Uh, the pacification field is down. Uh, that oh. Uh -oh. Does this weapon have soft lock? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not what I wanted to do. I like to dispute it. Uh, I'm not going to surrender. That's you are. no deal at all. We could have escaped, seen it all for ourselves. Ah, uh, you can still do that here quietly. For you, I have a strange sensation that I would like that. Very well, partner. The think tank is at your service as long as you do not destroy us. First, let's go to the sink. As it had been in the years okay. before the Great War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. The Courier watched over the Big Empty for years to come, caring for it, and keeping its discoveries safe until they were needed to help others which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. The Courier had scoured much of the Big Empty, although secrets still remained in the crater's depths. Perhaps that was for the best, however. Curiosity, while sometimes rewarded <sighs> for its efforts, often proves to be equally dangerous. Dr. Mobius continued his research undisturbed in the Forbidden Zone. As much as he had attempted to create better scorpions, he tried the same with humanity, with considerably less success. 
These failures didn't bother him over much. Once the rush of Mentats wore off, he forgot he had failed in any event. After all, the bright young mind who had come to visit him in the Forbidden Zone had already exceeded his expectations. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The Sync Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The biological research station, obsessed with seeding everything in sight, requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden, so that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. The garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped infect before the war. The book shoot continued to devour all seditious materials until it nearly choked on a paperclip. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paperclip, and the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to bicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. The soon continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the magnetohydraulics plant and nearly flooded all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. The toaster continued its psychotic spree, reducing all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its more psychotic episodes, however, the other sink personalities decided enough was enough and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. Muggy did his best to collect coffee cups, although in his quest, he accidentally trapped himself in Higgs Village. It might have been the end for poor Muggy, except he found it peaceful there tidying up the kitchens of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, except for Dr. O, who was an asshole for having created Muggy in the first place. Muggy left O's house deliberately dirty, punishing the dishes and cups that lived there in blind revenge for serving Dr. O. Blind I old Jefferson eventually discovered a new sound. Silence. It only made him more filled with the blues than before. It was rumored by the other personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches. Although he forgot their names once too often and was soon left in the dark as punishment. Autodoc, always gentle and methodical, kept sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. The Autodoc was just glad to have purpose again. It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. In time, the Autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. As the courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was, or even what a high school was. This confused them for a time, until the facility finally realized that its research had succeeded. So it let its cyber dogs out into the wastes to help protect small communities from physical aggression 
rather than communist propaganda. The infiltration program in X-13 felt spent, having repeatedly upgraded the stealth suit until it could upgrade it no more. It felt warm, fulfilled, and a bit sluggish. It realized not long after the stealth suit had left it without so much as a note on the nightstand. So the infiltration program sent out robo-brains into the wastes, looking for its wayward technology. It eventually found Repcon HQ and set up a new research center, testing and murdering fiends who kept breaking into the facility. Oh my god, even the dog I made gets one? I ran across Rex, who I haven't met yet. Looks like a litter of cyber pups. Mod devoured everything in their, in their path. The courier, organs intact, continued onwards. A little less heavy of step, but with all the organs in the right places. Uh, no. As they should be. After all, brains can develop a life of their own when left to their own thoughts. And the courier's brain was more clever than most. Dr. Klein and the think tank remained alive. Unaware of the world outside, they looped through their daily routine, none the wiser about the world beyond. Although perhaps wiser was the wrong word. The world outside belonged to the courier, and if anyone would shape it, well, the courier had already called dibs. There is an expression. Oh, of we're done. Hand, old world blues. It refers to those so obsessed with the past, they can't see the present, much less the future, for what it is. They stare into the what was, eyes like pilot lights, guttering and spent, as the realities of their world continue on around them. Science is a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries to come. In the times following the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, however, Old World Blues took on a new meaning. Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential for the future. It can be easy to see science as evil, technology unchecked as the source of all ills, all misfortunes. With the courier at the helm, Science became a beacon for the future. There was old world blues, and new world hope. And hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We could say more, but the stories in the Big Empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the transportal ponder, the courier could return to the dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the Big Empty one by one. The sink sat vigilant, waiting for its master to return. Shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained, and it was one the courier had to walk alone. Holy crap, we're done.